Two more men's cup semi-final places to be seized and two more matches in which to determine the recipients. And we start with an all-African affair in quarter-final number three. Kenya, champions in Dubai, perched at the very summit of the HSBC Challenger Series standings, intent on claiming back-to-back -back titles. Uganda swept all before them in the pool play. All matches seized late in the day, late heroics from the rugby cranes. They go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a spot in the final four on the line. Danger everywhere you look in these two teams. Philip Wakarach inspiring Uganda's challenge throughout pool play. The likes of big Kevin Wakesa and King George Uro doing likewise for Kenya. And here they come. Uganda in the black. Kenya in the green. As they go to the huddles. Three from three for Uganda. Extra time required to submit Papua New Guinea. Three nail biters, it must be said, for the Cranes. Kenya dropping points unexpectedly to Georgia. But two wins from three. Enough to send them into the quarters. Cabo Santos of Brazil will try to keep a lid on this simmering third quarter final. Kenya are ready. The Shuja pride. Thank you so much. Followed wherever in the world that rugby is played and Kenya are there by a raucous Kenyan cabal. Uganda line up to receive. Tony Omondi's kick. We're ready to rumble in Montevideo. African neighbors. They share a border. They share a shoreline with the sprawling Lake Victoria. And they share a twin pursuit of Seven's glory and Challenger Series silverware today. Uganda, nicely done on the restart to work some space. And Dennis Etwal bundles over the 22. Casito feeds it along the line. A Foyerwath. What a dummy that is from Aaron Foyerwath. The inside pass doesn't quite live up no to what came before it. Kenya have got a scrum. We've seen this kind of flea throwing rugby all weekend from Uganda. Aaron Foyerwath. So often central to it. His dummy was brilliant. And his pass in the end, just a little forced. Crowd. Find. Some supersized Set. humans Hold. shunting each other across the Montevideo plastic here. Quick ball for Kenya and for Asati, who throws a dummy twice and then gets shackled by Masangazira. And then Kenya through John Okoth, making strides, inflicting some punishment on Dennis Etwal. On Yala with the scrum cap, playing it out. Is there space through the middle? Not this time. Uganda standing firm. It's going to be a physical match, this. The collisions are going to be filling looseners. They're going to be jaw crackers, rib bruisers, as Kenya punch out wide and find the space through Ambetsa. Gets up, goes again, repelled. Four meters out. Casito is in there for Uganda. Tony Omondi. Asati. Kevin Wakesa. Uganda offside. Penalty advantage, Kenya. Will they need it? Omondi. It's going to be a penalty try here, I think. Yep, it is. The high tackle from a Firewath. Preventing a probable try being scored by Omondi. He's off for two. The referee's under the sticks. Kenya lead the quarter final. And that's why the seatbelt tackle is the modern terminology over the shoulder of Omondi. And when a player commits a cynical act like that, the referees have to take him or her out of the equation. They have to imagine he or she is not there. 
And if Aaron O'Foyle both vanished, the try would have been scored. That's why it's awarded. Wokarach, no room to manoeuvre down the right. Ian Munyani, good sir of the Cranes. Oh, a loose pass. And Wokarach, just the man Uganda want to be dealing with those stickiest of situations. Casito under real duess from Asati. And Kenya competing with real venom at every breakdown. Look at the green torpedoes firing into Ugandan bodies. Okenyi, he's going to have a crack from his own line. Got support from Etoile, who sticks it onto the toes. Okenyi and Etoile give chase. Kenya retreats. Oh, where's that ball? Gathered cleanly at the second time of asking by Omondi, but he's holding on on the ground. And Uganda have gone 80 metres here. And Okenyi for Ian Munyani. What can the giraffe produce? Casito. Here's the phenomenon. Wakarach try. No matter how valiant the tackle from Amaitza, there is simply no stopping Philip Wakarach in that mood, in this form, with so little metrage between him and the try line. Down to six men. Uganda pounce. Wakarach from the touchline. He's hooked that one well across. Five points to seven. Kenya still in charge. But only a two-point game, and that was seriously impressive play. The kick that carried them downfield in the first instance. It's a great textbook tackle from a might sap. But Wakarach, just too big, too good. Can't keep him quiet for long. What a boost it's been to have him back in their ranks. Uganda missed the Dubai leg. Based down in France. They've got him back for this one. And he's proven his worth time and time again. Here is the man of the moment. Walker Ach down the outside. This time he is stopped. And it's Amaitza again. Who's chopping the giant oak down by his roots. If you're going to tackle Philip Wakarach, that's how you do it. Big tree, fall hard. Squint throw. Asati, radar on the blink. And Uganda happy to take the scrum. Restored now to their full complement of seven. With a forwarth back in the mix. Don't generally watch sevens or become great fans of rugby sevens for its set piece nuances, for its scrummaging in particular. But this is worth the watch. Munyani and Okoth going head to head. Beads of sweat pouring from their foreheads. Free kick, Uganda. Casito of Foyerworth up to the 22. On the outside for Etwao. Change of pace almost bamboozles Kenya. Okenyi. Casito dishes it again. Wakarach. Three green shirted Kenyans combine to bring him down. But Casito resources it quickly. The opportunity for Masangazira down the short side. Penalty Kenya. Masangazira holding on. And a big defensive intervention from Kevin Wakesa. This is a quarter-final that could go the distance, could go right to the wire. Two extra time and golden point. This will be the last play of the half. No real angle for Tony Omondi to work with off that kick. Green, he managed to make about Hold. 10 metres. Will Kenya just get the ball off the pitch here? So close to their own line with the lead. They recycle the ball and that's exactly what they're going to do. Samuel Asati brings an engrossing first half of cup quarter number three to a close the african neighbors can scarcely be separated it's anybody's game at the break uganda five kenya seven
Kenya corner alive and buzzing and a familiar face in amongst the crowd Dr. Konye a London based surgeon who follows Kenya all over the globe watching the Shuja Pride with pride and he and his band of Kenya pals making all the noise bringing the atmosphere as day two of the HSBC Challenger Series in Montevideo draws to a close and it's Kanye's whistle you can hear peeling out around Italio Charrua it's the Kenyan faithful who are loud and proud it is the Shuja who have the slenderest of halftime advantages what have Uruguay got by way of response it's loose off Ugandan fingertips and hacked through by Kenya and Betsa got to it but tackle without the ball penalty Uganda Orwa rips that pass away towards Okenyi Wakarach was there a stray Kenyan hand in there certainly claiming for it not going to get the rewards they want Orwa running laterally sees the space tees it up for a marauding rampaging Dennis Etwell can he control this? Just too much. Too sweet a connection with those bright yellow boots. And can you have the 22 dropout? Behind the kicker. Testable restart from Kenya. One by Uganda. They want to set up the mall. They've already set the mall up, so it doesn't really matter if Ugandan bodies vacate the space. Uganda asking a question if that should be a Ugandan scrum because it was a clean catch from a kick, but well, Kenya had enough time to run and play that it's going to be Kenya's put in. Pushing early. Yeah. Respect that. Can you hear me? Please. Both of you. Let's go. Crow. Sanch laying down the law. Nine. The Brazilian twang. Set. No points yet in this second half. The African rivals. Oh, burglary. Pickpocketing from a Foyleworth. And that sets Uganda on their way. Loose pass from Casito, but Etoile nimble and lithe and alert Casito again it's opened up he's bobbing and weaving fantastic tackle around the ankles from Asati Kenya resource that rock hard very hard that might leave them short staff it wide as a Foyworth rips the pass away Wakarach kicking for himself to chase the loping strides of Wakarach oh he lost it couldn't bring the ball with him was nearly more magnificence from Philip Wakarach. Actually turned out for the mighty Racing 92 in a sevens event in France. The famous Parisian club. He wore their story blue and white jersey a few months ago. And with Onyala breathing down his neck. Couldn't take it. Uganda withdrawing their captain, Ian Munyani. Paya Sojena is on to replace good sir himself. Four minutes left and still this game is perched on the precipice. Hong Kong, China or Tonga lie in wait. That's the last match of the day which follows this one. And Kenya playing for territory. They kick into the vast expanse of Estadio Charrua turf. And it bobbles into touch just inside the Ugandan half. It's not something you see much of in rugby sevens, but a match this tight, I understand why Kenya weren't keen to spam the gamble button so close to their own line. Pressure throw for Aaron of Foyleworth. 
Jenna. Spinning. And then piercing between two. Got support on the inside. Finds a Foilworth instead. Oh, and Okenyi's dropped it. Backwards is the call from the referee. Norbert Okenyi slings the pass away to Etwell. That one's not backwards. And in any case, Etwell barely dancing into touch. Yeah, that one just drifting forwards from Norbert Okenyi. Again, I said, well, hurling down the touchline. He's been sprightly in this match. Defending from both teams has been hugely notable. Couple of iron walls. Barring the thresholds. And still, just those two early tries. Conversion proving the difference. Yeah, no more. Two and a half yeah. to play. Who wants the semi final spot? Who can hold their bottle? Who can conjure the accuracy and the proficiency to get there? Kenya bundled into touch, and that's a cheap way to cough up possession. Stop start second half. As Talbot Onyango and Kevin Bling Wambua go to their benches. There's Dennis Abukuse. He's a threat. He was a real danger man for Kenya on the HSBC Sevens last year. When in such brutal, gut wrenching fashion, they relinquished their coronation status. The final playoff match in London less than a year ago. Looking to bounce straight back to the big time, but the first time of asking. Uganda can put a dent in their ambitions with victory in this game. But Kenya have the penalty. And it is Abukuse over the ball. 100 seconds to go. Kenya have the ball. And the Shuja will choose the scrum. These minutes, these sweat drenched, heart pounding minutes when your lungs are shot and the muscles of your body are screaming. This is what all those hours of training and preparation and running and thankless shuttles are for. Is this Kenya's time to reach the semis once more? Ojwang sets it up in the middle. Penalty Kenya once more. Back to back Ugandan infringements. And they can wind that clock down further. No surprises, the scrum is their option. As we tick into the final minute of quarter final number three. Kenya within touching distance of the last four. And have another healthy points tally to add to top spot. And the 20, they gobbled up in Dubai as they plot their route back to the top tier. They need to see this one out though. 30 seconds to play. Another try would certainly do it. Dennis Abukuse, can he provide the inspiration? Uganda swallow up in a double tackle, but can't turn that ball back over. Uro and Onyala combine. Wide from Tony Omondi. Oh, leaving the ball behind, but it's all backwards. Onyala kicks. Kenya chase. This could be the semi-final try. Where's the ball? It's a 22 dropout. Knocked over the line by Kenya. Uganda have the 22, but they need the ball back. The hooter sounds, the game is almost up. And Uganda need their biggest, tallest, rangiest chasers in pursuit of this kick, which their talisman, Philip Wokarach, will take. He's got to go high and short. He spoons it into the Montevideo and Sky. It's knocked on by Kenya. 
Uganda have possession. They've got a chance to pluck this from the fire. But they've got to go from 80 meters. Wakarach. Casito. How much energy is left in these Ugandan bodies? Casito almost break dancing over the touchline. He found support on the inside. The knee was on the ground. Ken, you've got to let that player go. But they've won the penalty. Uganda sealing off. Quarter final over. And just look at the contrasting emotions. Sports and rugby sevens encapsulated in 10 glorious and brutal seconds. Kenya jubilant. The Ugandans on the bench inflamed.